All right, it is literally 9.30 in the morning. I'm, oh, voice crack. I'm at Target right now getting lashes last minute because I guess I do everything last minute. Um, I'm filming the fall makeup tutorial today. I have to have it up by six. Wish me luck. Hi, good morning. This is kind of a last minute video. Yesterday on my Instagram, I posted a poll asking if you guys would like the fall look that I did, but I didn't have lashes for today. So I went and just picked some up and these are like new lashes. I've never used them before. My hair is really messy. I was gonna like curl it or straighten it, but I'm going to be dyeing my hair today as well. So I'm going to be doing a video on that. If I'm dyeing my hair today, I was like, I might as well not really do anything with it. So the first thing that I always do is start off with a moisturizer and I always just use aloe vera because it's natural and it works for me. It leaves a really good like glowy, dewy finish too. I use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation and this is in shade Tan Honey. I also take a, this is just a BH Cosmetics brush in 116 and it's just a flat top brush. Um, and then I just missed it with the Rose Hibiscus um, facial spray. And then I just kind of like, I don't even know what I do. And I take whatever like extra I have and just blend the rest on my neck just so it looks all nice and even. Okay, so once I have that done, I go in with my beauty blender and just kind of like re-blend everything. All right, and then the next thing that I go in with is the Tarte Shape Tape in Medium. This concealer is very pigmented, it is thick, um, it is full coverage. Um, so I'm just gonna go over like my some of my acne and just try to take away that redness. And then just go with the pointy top of the Beauty Blender and just blend that in. I'm gonna literally do like a little bit because this concealer goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way, you know what they say. So I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes go in to the eyelid as well just so we have a smooth even clean base when we're working with our makeup i'm going to start contouring i use the nyx wonder stick and this is in medium tan so this contour stick might look a little bit darker but it blends nice so I go on with my Real Techniques brush, Techniques, Techniques brush and the Expert Face brush and it is just like perfect for contouring because it fits right in that cheekbone and just blends super nice. So I go in with this brush first and just blend all the harsh lines with the brush first and then once I'm done blending with the brush I go in with my Beauty Blender and just blend it out one more time because like I said we don't want those harsh lines. I'll go in with a angled little brush. This is also a BH Cosmetics brush in 119. And I'll just take the little brush and just start contouring. And then I'm gonna go in again with that Beauty Blender and just kind of blend that little bit more just to smooth everything out again. Now I'm going to go in with the powdered bronzer. I use the Morphe bronzer in Bonte. I don't even know how to pronounce that. And then I go in with another BH Cosmetics brush in 114. It's just an angle contour brush. Again, like I said, it's perfect just to get in your cheekbones and all of the other places. All right, so I just used the NYX Mineral Finishing Powder and this is just in medium dark. And again, with that same beauty blender, I'm just taking it and I'm gonna bring that underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna bring it in between that contour and jawline. 
The next thing that I do is my eyebrows. Um, I use this Lancome um, like pod and it is in taupe. It just looks like this. Um, it is more on the dry side. So I take the roll spray again and just spray a little bit in there to kind of make it a little bit more creamy and smooth. Then I just go in with the eyebrows. yeah I just do a thin line underneath to start the shape and then I start to blend upwards and then once I do that I just bring it down just like that and then I go in and blend it And we have our eyebrows on. The first palette I have is the Morphe Artistry palette. This one is super pretty. It's got all of the perfect fall like neutral colors. I am obsessed with this palette. Um, so I have that one and then I have the Tartlet in the Bloom palette. Um, this one is so fun because it smells literally like chocolate and these colors are the perfect like neutral smoky tones as well. The first color that I'm using is Jet Setter right here. I'm going to be applying that all over my lid and blending that up into my crease. I'm just taking a base shadow brush and this is just a blending kind of base brush, so you want to call it. And then just lightly kind of feather it on there. And then just blend it all out. So now that we have that, I'm going to be going in with the Morphe palette. I'm going to be going in with Hang 10 and Now Boarding and I'm going to be mixing the both of those and putting that in the crease. And I'm going to be using just the same brush as well just to put that in the crease. All right, so now that we have our transition color in our crease, I'm going to be taking Beach Please and Volcano right down here, these two colors, and I'm going to be mixing them and putting those on my lid. I'm going to be using a Morphe M167 brush. It's just a plain little shadow brush. And I'm going to be mixing those colors and just kind of putting that on my lid. I'm going to be moving into a Beige Cosmetics 122 brush and just kind of blending that color more on the lid and starting to build up that color. I'm going to go back with the Tarlet in the Bloom palette. I'm going to take the color Activist right here. I'm going to be putting it in the outer corner with this small little accent brush from Real Techniques and just placing it in the outer corner. I use this to blend everything out. I'm going to go in with another crease color and I'm going to be using Rebel from the Tarlet and Bloom palette. I'm just gonna go in with that in the crease and then I'm gonna go back and add some more of like the burnt orange color. I'm going to be using Hang 10 again and blending that with that color. I'm going to take that same like deep color and just blend it down my lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with just a fluffy face brush and wipe all of that away. So now that I pretty much have the shadow done, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and then go in with a little bit of mascara, put the eyelashes on and then go in with a little bit more eyeshadow. I'm just using a little like eyelash curler. Like I said before, I've never used these eyelashes before. Um, these are the Cosmetics London Eye Lure Curly Queen. I usually just use the Ardell Double Wispies or Wispy ones. Those are like my go-to. But today, I guess I decided to switch it up for a more like dramatic look. And then I'm just taking normal 
eyelash glue. This is just our Dow eyelash glue. Let it dry a little bit. I'm doing my right eye first. Okay, so my camera turned off, but I just got one of the lashes on and these are super pretty. Like these are not as dramatic as I thought they were gonna be. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other lash on and then I will do some finishing touches. Okay, so I just finished putting on the other lash and then I put on bottom mascara and put on like top mascara to blend everything. Now we're going to go in with the finishing touches. I'm going in with the Morphe palette again and I'm going to use this shade right here in Sunny's and I'm going to put it in my inner corner to brighten that up a bit. I love highlighting my inner corner. It just makes you look more awake and bright and glowy. And then I'm going to go in with that same color and an angled brush and I'm going to be applying this underneath my brow bone. And then I'm going to do it on my cupid's bow as well and then down my nose. The next thing I'm going to be doing is blush and this is just the Tarte blush in Blushing Bride. I have another Real Techniques brush. I'm just going to be applying this to my cheekbones and blending it in kind of with that contour just to give us that rosy look. We are going in with highlighter and again I'm going to be using the Morphe highlighter in High Impact. I'm just taking a little brush. I'm pretty sure this is like a contouring brush. I'm not sure. I don't even know what brand this is. I think this is Sonia Kashik. Um, and I'm just taking that on my cheekbone and blending it up. This is a Tarte lipstick. I don't really use lipstick. This is in Berry Cruiser, but if I do, it's usually like a new color. But since this is a fall tutorial, I thought I'd do a berry color. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know down below if you guys want me to do more makeup tutorials. I definitely will. I have so much fun with them. Like I said before, I'm no makeup artist, no makeup expert. I just do it for fun. So that was my little fall makeup tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notifications on.